We're here back at the Fantasy Bar. The All-Star break is behind us, and we are here with six guys for a big Thursday night return of the NBA, including some of my favorite targets in the mid-range I think are too cheap. One of the best value plays I've seen in quite some time. You're going to want to lock in. What team am I targeting tonight to double up on? And, of course, my favorite play of the night. Who is it? Belly up to the Fantasy Bar and find out. Welcome in, guys. Thursday edition Beers Daily Fantasy Six Pack. Good to be back here after a nice All Star break. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the same. Thank you, as always, for tuning into the video. Now, before we get into the plays for Thursday, a couple things. Make sure you like the video, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel as well, get notified when these videos go out, and of course, head over to scoresandodds.com/beer for tons of great sports betting information. Whether you're new to sports betting or you've been doing it for quite some time, can never have enough info analytics at your hand. So go and check it out today. That link in the description here of the video, scoresandodds.com slash beer. All right, let's get into Thursday night. The NBA returns with a seven-game docket. We've got six guys on the list for you tonight. Let's start at shooting guard, small forward, power forward with Josh Hart of the Blazers. Now, we know Portland going to be missing about half their team. When you look up and down that injury list, they don't have many guys left, especially guys that can provide us offense and fantasy points like Josh Hart has. And this guy's really been a revelation. He's shown us in the past he has what it takes, but this season really starting to put it together here, whether it was with New Orleans or here with his new team. We're talking a guy that's only dropped under 30 DraftKings points four times since the start of December. So a nice run here, a very consistent production for Josh Hart. And ever since he's gotten to his new team with Portland, just look at the numbers there on the screen, averaging almost 25 points per game, seven boards a game, almost 46 DraftKings points a game. You guys do the math on that number. We're talking an easy 6X return here on Josh Hart. I think there's still potential for more here tonight. Get him while you can at these low sevens prices. All right, let's stay in the mid range next at shooting guard. Small forward with Cam Thomas of the Nets. Now Brooklyn really gonna need offense here in this one. Not an easy matchup with Boston. We're talking obviously no Durant, no Simmons. Kyrie will miss this one as well. No Joe Harris. A lot of offense on the bench here for the Brooklyn Nets. And Thomas has really stepped in and been a focal point of the offense. We're talking 20 or more points scored in six of the last eight games. So guys getting up a ton of shots here for Brooklyn, 16 shots in seven of those games. Also chipping in some of the other categories as well. Four or more rebounds now in six straight games. Assists, the steals, it's all been there for Cam Thomas, but I think the scoring gonna continue. I know Marcus Smart, a guy we generally don't love to target, but Brooklyn has to put points on the board. Somehow I think Cam Thomas, a big part of that here tonight against the Boston Celtics. All right, let's stay in the mid range once again at power forward center with Kevin Love of the Cavs. So as the theme of the show goes, Cleveland going to be thin here tonight. Darius Garland and Karis LeVert both going to miss this game here tonight. That's going to leave them here dominated by the bigs, Mobley, Allen, and Love. And I think Love going to have to step up offensively, and we've certainly seen them do that. Now, when we run the numbers in our court IQ tool here on Roto-Grinders with those guys on the shelf, guess who leads the way? Usage and fantasy points per minute. That's right, Kevin Love at over 29% usage rate. Solid 1.27 fantasy points per minute. Now, the minute's always a concern with Kevin Love. I think you can see those bumped up a little bit closer to 30. So, so we're talking about a solid return at 1.27 fantasy points per minute if he hits that 30. And we've seen nice ceiling games out of him. I know it's been a roller coaster ride here with Kevin Love, but six 40 point games on DraftKings over the last month. I think he does it here once again tonight against the Detroit Pistons. All right, I promised you one of the better value plays I've seen in quite some time. That's Aaron Holiday of the Phoenix Suns. So Phoenix without their floor general tonight, Chris Paul, backup point guard Cameron Payne, also gonna be on the bench here tonight. So clearly a big spot here for Aaron Holiday stepping in at point guard, presumably, assuming he starts here tonight, which I think he will. This is a solid play at these prices. We're talking minimum price on Fandle, under 4K on DraftKings. We don't get these opportunities very often. He was good. Chris Paul got injured in that last game before the All-Star break. Aaron Holiday steps in, plays 20 minutes, drops nine, six, and three in those 20 minutes. And we've seen this many a times on Aaron Holiday. When he's gotten an opportunity, he's generally put solid numbers on the board across the board. 
And the returns here through the roof. I don't think a 10 to 12x return is out of the question here in tournaments. Cash games, I think you lock this guy in to spend some money elsewhere. Aaron Holiday, fantastic value here tonight for the Phoenix Suns. All right, we saved you money there so we could spend up at center with Nikola Vucevic of the Bulls. Now talk about dominant. This guy's been an absolute terror for opposing defenses. 14 double-doubles now over the last 17 games. So you get that nice consistency. You can pretty much count on a double-double for Vooch. Atlanta has struggled with bigs. Capella has certainly been a defender over the course of his career, but not playing as many minutes now. So Atlanta, it's showing defensively 12th most fantasy points allowed. And Vooch has torn this team two shreds this season, two matchups already, averaging 20 points and 18 and a half boards, good for over 58 DraftKings points per game. He does that here again tonight. Hey, that 10-1 doesn't look so bad. Nikola Vucevic in a smash spot here tonight against the Atlanta Hawks. All right, it's time to take a look at my favorite play for Thursday night. Before we do that, we want to continue our Beast of the Night contest. Free to play, easy to play, and a thank you to you guys for checking out the video. All you got to do, get in the comment section right below me and guess fantasy points from my favorite play of the night on FanDuel. The closest guests will win themselves a free week of Roto Grinders Premium. Chance to check everything out behind the scenes. And while you're down there, let me know who's your favorite play tonight. Who's your beast? Sound off in that comment section. All right, let's wrap this baby up. My favorite play for Thursday night in the NBA, you know, Mass, the beast of the night. All right, beast time. We started with Portland. We're ending with Portland. We're going right back to the well on one of my favorites of late. That's point guard, shooting guard, Anthony Simons of Portland. Tonight's beast of the night. I'm just going to continue to roll this guy out there. We know we talked about it with Josh Hart. They're missing a ton of offense. Dame Lillard on the shelf. CJ McCollum traded away. Now Yusuf Nurkic also going to miss some time here for Portland. So who's going to do the heavy lifting offensively? Yeah, Josh Hart's going to do a lot of that. But Anthony Simons, the guy here that's going to have the ball in his hands a ton. The prices, yes, they have ticked up. They have not gone high enough here on Anthony Simons. With this role, to me, he's a 9K plus player. We're playing 8,100 on DraftKings, 7,600 on FanDuel. So still a buy low opportunity here with Simons. Look at the scoring over the last four games. 29, 30, 31, 31. Averaging over 45 DraftKings points per game. Yes, Golden State has been tough against opposing point guards. I think Anthony Simons gonna be shooting the ball a ton here. They're gonna need that scoring and these prices simply too cheap. Anthony Simons, easily my favorite play on the board in tonight's Beast of the Night. All right, guys, that wraps us up for Thursday night in the Fantasy Bar. If you have any comments, questions, feedback, hit me up in that comment section right below the video. Don't forget, Fantasy Points for Anthony Simons on FanDuel for your shot at some free Roto Grinders Premium. Who is your Beast of the Night as well? Get in there and let me know. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe and go and check out scoresandodds.com slash beer. For rotogrinders.com, I am Beer saying salut, guys. Best of luck here tonight. We'll be back once again tomorrow with six of my favorite plays. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. Hey, thanks for checking out our videos. If you want more expert advice on DraftKings, FanDuel, or any other daily fantasy sports, make sure you check out the current videos playlist.